in this video I want to explain how the negative binomial distribution works using the formula this time. In a previous video I showed you how the negative binomial distribution works kind of drawn out and explained out. In fact uh, the example that I showed in a separate video was a family, uh, a husband and wife team was looking for um, three children of the same gender. Right, they were looking to have children and they were going to stop having children until they reached three children of the same gender. Alright, so um, you can check out that video at a different time, but this is now an explanation of that video using the formula for negative binomial distribution. Right, so I'm just going to deal with the formula part of it. Um, okay, a couple of things to explain first, and then I'll show you what the formula is. We're going to let x equal, right, x is going to represent um, the number of trials um, that are required to produce, right, to attain, in our case, we're looking for three children, so to produce three children. Right, to produce, we'll say here, how about k successes? Right, and so what's k? k is going to be the number, um, the the number of whatever is defined as a success. Right, so the number of successes. In other words, um, in our case, k is going to be three. Right, k is going to be three because when we have three children that are of the same gender, then we have success. All right, so we're looking for k successes. All right, that's the number of successes. In our case, k is going to be three, and so it might take three children, exactly three children, to reach right three three trials here, three having three children to reach that many successes. All right, it might take four children to reach three that are of the same gender. It might take five children, having five children, to reach three that are of the exact same gender. So x is going to represent the number of trials, k is the number of successes. Uh, let's see, I've got a couple of other variables here. We're going to have little p, right, little p is just going to represent the probability of success, which you've probably seen that many times, and, uh, and little q is its complement, right? Little q is the complement of p, in other words, it's, it's just simply 1 minus p, or the probability of failure. Now, obviously, having kids, um, it, there's no failure in that at all. But we're looking for um, having them being the same gender. That's that's the key here. Okay. Now, obviously, for kids as well. Let me just mention this right now. I might as well that the probability of having a girl or having a boy is exactly the same. Okay. So uh, these both are just going to be 0.5. Anyways, little p, little p, and little q are going to be 0.5. Okay, so I think I've got everything here. We've got x and k. We've got little p and little q. We've got everything we need. Let me show you what the formula looks like for a negative binomial distribution. All right, it looks like this. It is going to be, and I'll explain what this is in just a second here, but I've got x minus 1 over k minus 1. All right, times, this is all a product here, times little p raised to the k times q raised to the x minus k. So there's the formula. That's it actually right there. It's not very elaborate. It's not very big. But that's the, that's the formula for a negative binomial distribution now. All right, how does this thing work? Um, first of all, anytime you have something like this that's in parentheses, this is simply just a combination that you can do. Um, so if you saw, let's see if I can switch papers here real quick. If you saw something like this, if you saw about um, 5 over 3, then this, you know, worked out on your calculator is perhaps you've seen that as something called a combination, right? That's 5 um, C3. So 5 is going to be N and 3 is an R. And so you have 5 choose 3, okay? And I've got a calculator here. And I've got an, uh, an NCR button that's right here, actually, on my calculator. So I'm just going to punch in 5, choose 3, and 
it just tells me that that value is 10. Okay, so that's easy enough. That's what these things right here represent. It means whatever this number is on top is my n, and whatever number is there is my r, so it's just using a what we call a combination. All right, it's called a combination. Also sometimes called um, the binomial coefficient. But that's uh, another topic for another day. Okay, so we have all the players we need. So here's the question, right? Here's the question. Um, if x, right, if x is the number of trials is 3, if x is 3, right, given that x is going to be 3, and again, for all of these problems that I'm going to show you, k is going to be 3, right, because we want three children of the same gender. Our little p is going to be 0.5, which means our little q is also 0.5. We're looking for, what this really means is, what's the probability that it takes three children, right, exactly three children, to have all three being the exact same gender? All right, so here's what we've got. And I'm going to use this formula. All right, I'll put the formula up here again one more time. So it's x minus 1 over k minus 1. Um, times p to the k times q to the x minus k. All right, so there's the formula. And let's try this out for, for this particular scenario when x is equal to 3. All right, so let's see. If x is equal to 3, then this top number here is going to be just 3 minus 1, which is 2. And k minus 1, which is also 3. So k minus uh, 3 minus 1 is also a 2. Right? And by the way, 2 choose 2 is simply just a 1. You can try that on your calculator, but n, right, 2c2, two two, or uh, n is 2, uh, choose, you have 2, you have to choose 2, um, it, it's easy, it's just, that's always just a 1. Anytime n and r are exactly the same number, that's really just a 1. All right, so I'll clean that up later. Um, let's see, here I've got p is equal to 0.5 raised to the k, which is just a 3. And I've got q, which is 0.5, raised to the, do you see this? In this case, I've got x minus k, and since they're both the same, it's really just a 0, OK? Cleaning this up a little bit more, like I said a second ago, this parentheses is just a 1. Hey, this parentheses here is just a 1, right? Anything to the 0 power is just 1. And so I really have just 0.5 raised to the third power, which comes out to be, if you work that out, 0.125. Now that's not exactly my answer. That is not quite the answer. This is actually the answer if I was only looking for three boys or three girls. So since, and what I'm going to do for each of these answers here, all right, since this is the case where I'm looking for three children of the same gender, and I didn't specify which gender, so it could be three boys or three girls, I actually have to double my answer here. I have to multiply it by two. All right, I have to double this answer and come up with, um, in this case, just simply 0.25. All right, so this is the case where um, if you have th three trials where all three are exactly the same gender, right, then the probability is 0.25. There it is in formula form, okay? Let's try it again, a little bit more here. One more of these for, uh, for how about if x is equal to 4, all right? Let's try it with x is equal to 4 this time. Okay, we can do that. Switch markers here. All right, so in this case here, I've got, in this kind of scenario, I've got x is equal to 4. I've got k is equal to 3, right? Because it's always uh, 3 of the same gender. We know that little p is 0.5, and little q is also 0.5. OK, and our formula, again, our formula is x minus 1 over k minus 1 times p to the k times q to the x minus k. So this is, again, the formula for a negative binomial distribution. All right, so here goes. I've got x minus 1, which is 4 minus 1 this time, which is 3 over k minus 1, which is still 3 minus 1, which is a 2. And I've got uh, the same scenario here. This is 0.5 raised to the third power. But this time, I'm going to use the probability of failure. It doesn't go to 0 this time. So x minus k is simply just 4 minus 3, or just a 1. OK, and we can work all of this out. Uh, let's see, if you work out 3 over 
2, right, if you do this binomial coefficient here, you'll see that that comes out to be a 3. Uh, 0.5 raised to the third power, hey, we just did that a second ago, that's 0.125. And 0.5 obviously to the first power is just itself, 0.5. All right, if you multiply these three numbers together, you'll see that you come up with 0.1875. But wait, don't stop there. All right, this is 0.1875. Remember, in my, in my scenario, I'm looking for three children of the same gender, and I'm not specifying which gender, okay? So this is actually the probability of getting three boys having had four children. It's also the probability of having three girls having four children. So since I didn't specify which gender, I have to double this, or I'm going to multiply this thing by two, and come up with the final answer of 0.375. So there's the answer again using formulas. Okay, You can do the same thing for try it out with x is equal to five. Right? And you'll see that uh, if you plug all this in here, if x is equal to 5, you should come up with 0.625. I gave you the answer right there. Right? And um, that's the last case. If, if anything after that, although you might come up with a numerical answer, if x is equal to 6 or 7 or 8 or 9 or 10, um, a couple, um, the way that the, the question was worded originally on WebAssign, was that the, that the family will stop once they hit three children of the same gender. Um, but you can still come up with answers for six, you know, if x is six or seven or eight or nine or ten. Hope that helps.